guys how y'all doing welcome back again for a new video so the last video i made was about making linux meant look like windows 7 right the idea of this video is way different i was reading the comments and one of the comments was like how oh, there is that linux distribution called commander linux that looked like windows 7 and i was like what a great opportunity to give this a try like of course why not and here i am commander linux honestly i have no idea about it the only thing i did is basically download the iso from somewhere in here oh yeah and download then it will take you to this page and you can select a custom some amounts for me i just selected zero because i'm broke but of course in the future i might support that thing if i like it once you click on zero like that you'd be like download commander linux and you will have it for free it's basically for free but if you want to support the developer why not give them ten dollars or at least a dollar i don't know and yeah today i'll be taking a look at this and honestly it looks cool based on the images and everything and here it says welcome to commander linux that's the interface I'm wondering what desktop environments is this is it like some type of KDE I don't know the user-friendly OS inspired by Windows 7 it reminds me of what I did yesterday with the Linux Mint thing it almost looked like that like this one in here it might be the exact same theme we never know Google Chrome is the default browser transitioning from Windows to Linux has never been easier I'm a bit confused honestly I don't know what Chrome has to do with transitioning to Linux um maybe I don't know I don't know play your favorite games with Steam around 80 percent of the most popular games on steam work out of the box on linux yes true that's on every other linux distribution complete office suits ready to use library office of course creates amazing looking videos with ease oh kidding live yeah of course i expected that the open source video editor for linux turn your pc into a home recording studio oh what is this record mix and master your next masterpiece with ardor 7 oh what's this i actually never heard about the interests in record edits and mix on linux mac os and windows is that open source is this thing open source because i never heard about it like dude if you do music then that will be cool like to use on linux amazing not quite ready to let's one oh yeah virtual box i already have that live boots i already have that support forum is always available oh so they have their own forum and stuff yeah it's active and everything cool anyways i need to close this so we can start the installation i don't want to spend forever just reading about this linux distribution that's why i will basically start installing it and see what we're dealing with let me go full screen real quick so in here we got commander linux 2.0 oh, i don't know what that means but live environment yeah sure go ahead commander linux stay free this one is more like the windows windows xp loading screen not the windows 7 if i'm gonna be honest like it's a bit old to be a windows 7 loading screen okay oh debian this is based on debian that's my worst nightmare bro i don't deal with debian at all like for me i feel like debian is not for beginners honestly like i tried debian and it was just not good i mean it doesn't feel that slow maybe because i have the 3d graphics disactivated that might be a thing yeah the 3d graphics sorry this activated and all right all right doesn't matter doesn't matter or maybe it does matter or maybe it doesn't okay just forget about it welcome to commander linux 2.0 <laughs> based on debian 12 wait what the latest version of debian let me just google there real quick oh i will just use that one over here the chrome one the mouse cursor looks like windows 7 oh i like it what about all of this that seems like the latest version of chrome am i right wait i'm not sure what's the latest version of chrome is but Mm, i don't know and they have a team they have a team applied on that thing it's not the default chrome chrome doesn't look like that am i right i don't know i might be just tripping what's the latest version of debian version 12 what is this version 12 oh damn okay okay cool uh learn more okay LibreOffice. yes yeah, oh run windows software wine oh wine what new uh-huh 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 uh -huh. oh interesting wait 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 am i tripping who created the temple was jerry terry davis you must be f***ing kidding me dude no way he was also one of the people that creates it this dude <laughs> terry a david damn he was a cool person though you know i mean like damn this feels sad dude that's crazy bro why like died at 26 died at 48 
are they the one that created this? I'm not sure, but like it's sad knowing that all the developers of this are dead by now. Uh, rest in peace. Anyways, let's not be sad for now. We got the wither thing in here. Honestly, it looks cool already. Can I change the... What is this? I want to change the wallpaper. I'm sure there are going to be some other wallpapers. So that will be cool. All right. That's what I'm talking about. But there is no Windows 7. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I was wrong. I was wrong. This one is like inspired for Windows. Yeah, absolutely. Look at this. Beautiful. And here we got LibreOffice applications, Game, Chrome, and Sonar, which is the default file manager in here. Cool. Oh yeah, we have the terminal. Is there is NeoFetches there? Hell yeah. <laughs> Look at this. This is crazy, dude. Commander Linux. Yeah, 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 yeah. Bash 16, 80 by 1050. All right. XFCE. So the desktop environment is XFCE. Cool. So that explains why it's smooth and everything. Beautiful. Windows Manager XFWM4. The team is the Commander ca team. Yep, yep. So those icons aren't just any icons that's been taken from somewhere else. They're like made by the developers themselves uh-huh terminal fonts actually i like the terminal for some reasons I'm, i just like it bro it looks cool yeah and that's it's basically close this guys am i tripping or this does look like the windows 7 thingy the windows 7 notepad hello everyone that looks beautiful i like it bro you know what i'm actually thinking of installing this on my laptop like what the hell this looks so good like if it wasn't based on debian it was gonna be way cooler but i'm just not a big fan of debian so i don't know i might give it a try on a real machine we got the terminal emulator that's the terminal the calculator i don't need that about me why the icon looks like that that's wild then first name, the last name. Wait, I still didn't install that thing. How do I install it though? I'm literally using it live now. So how do I install it? Uh, that's confusing. Because there's nothing that I can run in order to install this. Wait, should I just type install and it's going to start some? Because I know there is something in the terminal that you can type and that will take it to an installer, right? No? Okay. We're not going to install that thing then. It doesn't matter anyways. Multimedia, we got VLC Media Player, Audacity, our door. Wait, did I install it? And I have to install it myself or something? I don't know. Oh yeah, I have to install it myself. And also that's a great opportunity for me to check the store or the discovery thingy. Oh yeah, it's called the software center where I can download and install my applications. Okay, okay. So that basically the software manager was the software center that you will find on any Linux distribution. You get the installed section in here, the explore section and the updates. But a great thing that they include that you know like some linux distributions doesn't include that at all and you have to install it yourself for example arch linux when you install arch linux there is no discover or there is a discover no in arch linux there is a discover i believe in end of word there is no discover or cache cache as well doesn't have a discover store installed on it by default i'm not sure but and here you have it which is cool you can install your apps and everything where can i search for the application i'll be using well can I search? Oh, there is a search section in here. Let's just go with, I don't know, Firefox. Is there is Firefox? Yep, I can just install Firefox. Well, amazing. Let's just get back. There is Floor. If you like Floor, I'll recommend this. It's cool. And in here, that's the Firefox thing I'm installing, I'm sure. Yeah, that's why it says one next to it. Doesn't matter. Let's just close this. But honestly, I made a mistake not turning the 3D graphics on that because it's awful now. I feel how slow it is. But it's my fault in the first place for owning a low-end machine. Fine, just skip that ahead. All right, we got Space Caddis Pinball. You guys want to play some pinball? Let's do it. Oh, yeah. Look at that. But why is this in full screen, though? Hey, yo, chill. Wait. Oh, yeah, that's, that's better. Yeah. Absolutely, is it working? Okay, so the left click and the right click and space. Oh yeah, it's installing Firefox. Please leave me leave me alone, bro. Okay, crazy how they just pre-install this. You know, actually I install this every time I install Linux. This game is just my favorite. I cannot just install Linux and not install this. Just fun, bro. And nostalgic at the same time. We anyways, enough playing. Now let's see what else we have. If there is any other interest in games. We got Solitaire, Tetris, okay. Got chess. My Mines, oh, the mines ones as well. Sure, let's do one. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Damn, this was so fast. Am I this bad at this game? Tetris, I'm gonna give this a try. Oh, there's a lot of, uh, I don't know. All right, so how do I flip that thing? Can I just, oh, just like that, okay. With the arrow keys, 
beautiful, I would say. Look at that. Yeah, I'll just put it over here and this one over here. Oh, that should have made us a bit closer. There you go. Close that thing. Enough playing. I'm done with games. I don't really need to try all this. We all know snakes or nibbles just in some Linux distributions. That's what they call this one here. Just called snakes. Good. We got graphics. Yeah, just Inkscape, LibreOffice, Blender. You have to install all of these. They're not really installed. Filezilla, Chrome. You can install Brave as well. Okay. Multimedia we already checked that. Office we already know that. Now the system manager. Oh, they made it look a bit similar to Windows. Because Windows 7 Task Manager looks almost like this, if I'm gonna be honest. It's just the colors though. Usually they're like green, but in here they're like orange, but I'm sure you can change that somewhere in the settings. I'm not sure. Maybe. Oh, there is some shift and Firefox is not installed. Cool. Uh, what else? Wait, there should be some way where I can access the settings, right? Just like that. And then appearance. No, 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 no. Just keep that like that. Don't change anything. I'm searching for the colors one though. The icons. They should have added the Windows 7 icons. That thing would look much more like Windows 7 just with the icons installed. The thing is I cannot change the colors, which is bad. Let's go back to all settings then somewhere in here. No. Menu icons. No, I cannot change the color. I'm not sure. Color profile. No, that's not the thing. I got a screensaver. <laughs> that's nice. Disable random screensaver. Yeah, look at that. For example, that one. Oh yeah, this one is cool. Look at this. GL cells. Uh, they look weird. Okay, fluid balls. Linux is just wild. I love Linux, bro. There's just some stuff that you will love about Linux. It's just cool. Look at this. Oh yeah, really classic. And I feel some nostalgia now just from using this. It just the effects. Look at this. Cool, isn't it? Fiber lamp. Wow. Wow. Written by Tim in 2005, bro. In 2005, having something like that on your screensaver in 2005 would be the coolest 3D thing that you would ever have. Crazy. All right, what else we have? Okay, okay, okay. So I went through all of this. Now, let me give a general idea about it. So there's a Linux distribution based on Debian 12, and it has the XFCE desktop environments, which means technically it should run smooth on any machine you install it on. Doesn't matter if it's 20 years old or 15 years old or at three decades old, that thing will just install. But the thing is, will do you install that thing? Well, probably yes. I would say just because it's going to give you a stable experience, and I hope that's the case, because Debian is not something that I would consider really so stable sometimes not all the time my experience with debian was bad i didn't know how your experience is gonna be like you should give it a try but overall you're gonna know that this is based on debian i'll give it seven or eight 8 out of 10, you know, if it wasn't based on Debian. But you know what? I would actually install that thing on my actual laptop. Like, I would get some old HP laptop and just put that thing on it and use it. If it's going to do some net surfing and some light gaming, of course it's going to do gaming. And just a couple tasks here and there. Why not? I would install that thing. And it's up to you to decide, of course, if to try that thing or not. This was today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And of course, let me know in the comments what's your opinion about Commander Linux and if you ever used it. See you in the next one. Bye-bye.